Hey everybody, welcome back to Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. Last we left off, Igor is missing. Oh noes. You de Now normally we can just go save Igor. But as I said, I looked up for the points and such. And it says... That in order to get max points, you need to free the gypsy instead. Then save Igor. This is a tough lock. This... That didn't... Ah, good, good. This is a tough... This... This is a. This is slowly killing me, but I gotta do it. Grief. That feels good. This is a tough. I do not understand. You close and lock. The to understand I just like helping people out you are flying in the very source of all magic I'm sure you hear that voice calling you again you gradually Our lock picking skills have gone up quite a bit. Not nearly enough. You hear a monstrous groaning noise. That's how a thief does it. Igor! Yeah. Stranger saves your kind stranger. Igor, happy grave, not Igor's grave. <laughs> this headstone does not have an epitaph. Yet. How about that old one? Death is just nature's way of telling you to slow down. A fresh grave. No hurry. I'm solved. I just not many people would try to help a gypsy. Particularly when everyone thinks that they are werewolves. Those are some huge teeth. Gypsies are not werewolves. <laughs> you cannot believe the lies of the townsfolk. Visit our camp to the east sometime, and we will welcome you as only the gypsies can. Gypsies are not werewolves, but we are shape changers. I hope to see you again eyes sometime. Farewell!
The werewolf. The gypsy escaped from his cell, but at least Ego returned to town. He has told. To tell the. The gypsy has no doubt. The people of this town will settle down again. They cried so loudly for blood because they are tired of living so long in the shadow of fear. There is. There is a rumor that I will be able to get a real night's sleep for once. I do not have to... What do you mean, for once? Nothing like... Okay, grief. Yeah, that was basically just muscle memory. I have been preparing a research report to tell the world about my process for re -anim And yet, if I wait too long, some other scientists may publish first. Then again, maybe they aren't. You say... I have been many of publish or parrot. The key to writing a research report is always to remember this. A pen can be driven, but a pencil must be led. If I told Oh Science is the Here you are Here you are I'll probably see you. Uh, Igor is very glad not to. Good to, to tell Igor the townspeople were worried while he was gone. Shit. To tell. <sighs> uh, oh, reports of Igor's demise greatly exaggerated. Grave accident. <laughs> <laughs> Little graveyard humor there. <laughs> that good one. Igor carve headstone near grave. Igor fall in grave. Gravestone fall on grave. Igor not get out until you get him out of grave. Igor in grave danger. <laughs> Little graveyard humor there. Staff been in. People say Dr. Mad. Oh, people not like gypsies. People think gypsies steal things. People think gypsies eat people. People think gypsies not normal like Igor. Totally not normal like Igor. You say Igor nods cryptically. <laughs> A little graveyard humor there. You find a good spot. How do you deal with the monastery door? Don't use it. Hmm. This carving depicts a cavernous, hungry-looking mouth. Here, two bones have been crossed as on a pirate flag. This relief depicts a single, huge drop of blood. This relief shows a storm cloud, evidently representing the concept of a breath. This is a bas-relief image of a heart. If you look out of the corners of your eyes, you can almost see it pulse. This place is making you see all sorts of things, actually. No, no, no. This is not a this is not this is this is There's something dark in the alcove. Could just cast fetch. 
that's not what we're going for here. This is a fairly attractive, in a Baroque way, this, this is smashy, smashy. break the glass cabinet open, making a big mess. The very wet be I, very wet and very alive. Glad am I to be alive. Happy thanks I give you. Careful you should be here. Dangerous berry it is. Feed the guard or destroy it to find the secret passage down. Well, we know from earlier that hexapuses. It's a six tentacled octopus like creature. I guess you'd call it a hexapod. Unless you like cats, then you might call it a hexapus. Hector the hexapod happily gorges itself on the garlic. Hector looks much less hungry and perhaps a little less dangerous now. A long wooden table that it doesn't. Anyway, um. On. There is a cold feeling down here that chills your bones and sets the hairs on the nape of your neck on end. There is a musty odor of mold and mildew mingling with the sickeningly sweet smell of decaying flesh. Welcome to your nightmare. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. You pick up the statue in the shopping bag, carefully avoiding any contact with your own flesh. The statue glows briefly as it slips into the bag, then subsides. For traps. Not the best mouse, is it? Sometimes I click, you hear it click, and it's just not doing any good. You rifle through the Mad Monk's desk and find the diary of Amon Tilado. Amon Tilado! Reading this makes your head hurt. However, it does give you some information about the Dark One rituals. It said something about the first ritual being placed within the Mad Monk's tombstone, there to be forever guarded by followers. The second ritual shall be placed in the Stone of Squids and revealed only by the light of a dead child's soul. The next ritual shall be placed in the hollow of the hangman's tree and guarded by the spirit of the dead which remains there. The blood ritual shall be concealed magically within the monastery, and only he who willingly seeks dark visions shall find it. The mouth ritual shall be placed in the great arch itself, under the Dark One's sign. And the heart ritual shall be given to someone named Gregor for safekeeping. We were already now, at there's the another arch. note on this page in my handwriting. There. Gregor is missing in the forest and probably dead. Yet where is the heart ritual? The huge barrel is labeled Cask of Amontillado. This must be the fabled spirit that provided most of the income and fame of the monastic order here. 
It is rumored to provide strange and mystical visions to those who taste freely of its contents. You get it, right? You tap the huge cask of Amontillado. This is the strongest stuff you've ever tasted, assuming that you're not an aficionado of dragon's breath. Bottoms up. You don't know Poe, you won't know it. Don't know the uh, reference here. <laughs> yeah. A fool. <laughs> Man, have you got a headache? Fortunately, the Dark One Rising seems to have been just a vision, not the reality. Yet. A scroll has formed from the cask's wine droplets. You pick up the rolled paper on the floor. It has a symbol of a drop of blood at the top and the inscription, Ritual of Blood. You can't read any of the other writing on it. The writing keeps moving. A number of barrel. These bizarre creatures are only stone carvings. You hope. You've seen some pretty ridiculous things in your time, and that's certainly one of them. Now, let's take care of this place for good. The ancient book catches fire instantly and burns far brighter than you would have imagined. You hightail it out of the monastery basement. Sorry, Hector. <laughs> if Igor get big hero job, can he be pyromaniac too? Yep. You tell what next time, bring Igor marshmallows. Nom, 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 nom. Nice fire. Thank you. That smoke make Igor want to start coughing. <laughs> Little graveyard humor there. Building rock, not burn other buildings. Bad building, burn. Good. Give Igor heebie-jeebies. <laughs> if Igor be adventurer, can Igor be arsonist too? Gotta make sure you're burning the right buildings. But yes. Yes, you can. Tell the monster. You seem to be most daring. Yeah, reach a hand in here. Wonderful, wonderful. I won't have to scuttle in the shadows all the time. I won't have to have unsavory eating practices. Thank you, thank you so very much. You did very well. I am alright, I guess, but I'm having a difficult time adjusting to walking on two legs again. <laughs> oh, there's a... You'll have to... There is a seat. You must be very careful. Now, assuming you're a psychotic, you can always do this. It's been said that there's no honor among thieves. Well, you've certainly proven that true in your case. The chief thief, recently recovered from his shape-changing ordeal, dies instantly beneath your onslaught. He doesn't look very active. It may have something to do with the fact that you have killed him. <laughs> you don't earn any guild points for pickpocketing corpses. Stick with the live ones, okay? Yeah, you don't want to do that. Reduces your honor to nothing. You find
Okay. Your magic. This now would be a good time to go visit the gypsies. Greetings and welcome to our camp. You are a stranger no longer. When you saved me from death, our lives became intertwined. Henceforth, you are to be known as a gypsy friend. <laughs> Come now, I will take you to the leader of our camp. Okie dokie. So, you are the one my son spoke of. You saved his life. You also entered fearlessly into our den of wolves. You are a man of great courage. <laughs> we gypsies owe you for our daily, and I believe we will owe you for things to come. Welcome. I am the fortune teller. I will teach you a spell. It will protect you against the dead that rise again. I think you will find this most useful in your questings. A gypsy fortune teller touches your head briefly. Magic flows through you. Now you know the aura spell. Now, let us... Oh. Um. You tell the... You tell her. You tell her. Dreams are me the meaning. Let's just get through this. There right. are many legends about that ogress. She has her hut to the south. There is. This valley has always been a neck. My dear, we are not the only ones drawn by this power. The magician Irana created a magic. Oh, beware. There are. Irana was a powerful magician who came from this area. There is a garden in the forest which she created. Oh, it is such a place of safety for all who visit there. It is so said that up. her final resting place is near here as well. Her staff stands in the town and protects those within the walls from outside harm. There are some things... Creatures of the night. Oh, the legend. It is not normally our... There is much to... We are the roving people. The... You make... Gorgio. I don't know why her voice changes like that. It's weird. We gyp... You can name... Gyps to say and... This is... We are... We would... The road... I w I moved behind. I had no. Now you listen to the words of an old gypsy fortune teller. You will initiate this reading of. Apparently, the this is a somewhat the accurate representation of how a tarot the card reading goes. Those vibrations which surround you. Or at the you very least, during the, the, the cards, card interpretation is correct. It is the cards which show what they choose to show. I will reveal to you the meanings of the cards. It is up to you to interpret how they affect you. You may reveal the first card. Page of Swords. The first card is the significator. It is the symbol of the subject of the reading. This is a card of vigilance and agility. The person this represents is skilled at perceiving the hidden, at 
terrifying and uncovering the unknown. This is a person who has mastery over his body and is lithe and active. This card clearly represents you. Oh, and therefore, shucks. this reading is about you. The cards which surround the significator represent the influence. Sorry, did it again. The High Priestess. This card is the High Priestess. It is inverted, which means the meanings too are turned upside down. The High Priestess is some woman of your past. She is a person of selfishness and passion. Someone who seems to be very powerful, but her knowledge is limited by her own conceit. Turn over the next card to reveal more of this individual. Something of coins. The Four of Coins. Now that is the card of the miser. This woman of your past has power, but uses it selfishly. This is a person who cares only of her own needs and wants, and does not care what she does or how she influences others. This person is one who, as long as you satisfy her needs and vanity, will be willing to aid you, providing it does not require any amount of effort on her part. However, if you act against her, her vengeance will be Sounds like Baba Yaga. and violent. This is not a person to disregard, and she plays an important part in the events around you. Reveal the next card. Something of the more recent past, which has consequences in the present. King of Coins. This is the inverted King of Coins. This is an old and vicious man. Someone who is willing to use any means to attain his desires. Someone who is dangerous and cannot be trusted or underestimated. Reveal the next card that we may learn more of this person. The Devil. The Devil. This is indeed an ill omen. This person is influenced by black magic. A man of power and dark desires, yet the devil is a sign of bondage and subservience, and this person has faced unexpected failure of some sort. Oh, more than once. This is someone of great evil, someone who cannot be trusted. This is one who will bear you ill will, yet is somehow prevented from harming you or gaining his revenge for now. Should he gain his freedom, this man will seek to destroy all which stands between his goals and himself. Mm, sounds Turn familiar. Over the next card to reveal a surrounding influence. The Queen of Cups. Ah, the Queen of Cups. Again, there is a female influencing your present. This is a woman of wisdom and love. She is kind, generous, and virtuous. Let us see what next the cards reveal of this person. I can't make that out. The star. Oh. It is a symbol of hope and spiritual influence. Now this is a woman in touch with her magical nature. She is gentle Sounds like and loving. Yet, there is great strength within. This is a woman who generates hope and help through her actions. Definitely, Irana. The next card reveals the overriding influence upon the future. The Queen of Swords. Ah, oh, the Queen of Swords. She is a woman of wit and skill, yet... She has suffered through terrible hardship, and she is marked by her suffering. Oh, she faces her sorrows bravely, but with a deep, deep loneliness. The next card will tell us more about her.
the moon. It is the card of deception. This woman is a deceiver, or is deceived by her own beliefs. This card also reveals the magical nature of the woman. This is the strength which sustains her. Oh, she is either surrounded by false friends, or seeks to betray you herself. She is the victim, or the villainess. The final card will reveal the influence which will most affect you. The Void mm. About this card, I will not speak. I must meditate upon its meaning. This tableau shows the influences surrounding you. These people will affect your life for weal or for woe. It is up to you to determine how and what effect they will have upon you. That is all that the cards and I can reveal at this time. Make what you will of your fortune. I will speak no more of it. And we will call it a video here. I am the Blues 32. This is Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. TTFN. Half an